you will have your own strong viewpoints, but I believe that they can be civilly put. I don't think that wanting to ensure the future survival of my people is unacceptable or should be seen as offensive to other people. We have a right to our exclusive identity, our home history, heritage, culture, and to exist as a people. Nobody has the right to take that from us. The people who are trying to take that from us are the extremists, in my opinion. And I didn't, like, I didn't think that that feels at all like exclusive or um, kind of contradictory. With this lovely man could make a home here because he's 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 a gift. Get the gift. And pick some of the Roman yeah. and Saxon ladies. Well, how yeah. do we explain that? No, 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 so one million white children that have been raped in racially and religiously motivated crimes by people of his community. How is my community supposed to reconcile the fact that they opened up their doors, gave refuge to people that said, please, let us come here for a better life, and then what do you do? Rape, rob, extort, terrorise, and kill our people, and you expect us not to be angry about that? That's, yes, I, I recognise none of that in this lovely man. And in, in most but it is the, coming from his community against mine, and it's racially and religiously motivated by foreign peoples that are coming to our country from our gratitude and kindness. Rape, though, is not an exclusively Asian thing. There are white folks who... Yes, there are white men that rape. Yeah. There are rapists of all things. The difference is that this is a racially and religiously motivated act of genocide that is targeted against our people to cause our people's harm. In the Genocide Convention, it specifically states, B means causing physical and mental harm to members of a specific group. So you're not going to argue with me that gang raping children is not going to cause them serious physical and mental harm. And the no, difference is, is there's been a million white children, one million white kids in the last few decades that have been raped by Muslim Pakistani men. It is targeted, and our community have a right to be angry. If it was any other country and any other peoples, they'd be burning down the homes and trimming you out the country. But because white people are so tolerant, so far all we've done is demos, but that will come to an end, and I assure you. And we don't involve ourselves in gratuitous violence and, and terrorism. We're white people. We desolate continents, we wipe out civilizations, and we start world wars. So far we've been tolerant. But you wait until that tolerance is gone, when the Anglo-Saxon no longer wishes to tolerate the rape, robbing, and extortion and theft of our identity. What's going to happen? Germany then? or from Britain? Because they were originally Jews and Saxons and Angles from Germany. But the Anglo-Saxons are a mix of the Celts and the Saxons, all northern, and western Jews European white race people. We have no genetic difference in our composition. Europeans are all one brotherhood. Before that, there wasn't any black, browns, or Asians, or anything else living in Britain. In fact, in the, in the 1950s, Empire, what was Europe? Europe it was less than 0.3% in Britain were foreign. Syria, so what was Europe then? But even, the definition, the even, the definition, the concept, even the concept of Europe, Europa, Europea, was different a thousand years ago. The Romans included Northern Africa, they included parts of Syria. So there's been a heritage of change. The terms are used, what is Europe, what is Britain, all this is constantly changing. And people, human beings not have been moving. At all. Britain has been known as Britain and Great Britain since the Romans. Right, Britons. Right. Britons. Oh, can we can beings. say the same, right? So your home doesn't exist. It's been populated by lots of people. There's no such thing as Asians or Pakistanis, and it'd be perfectly fine if we were to wipe you out. Let's take your lands, let's take your identity, let's rewrite your history so that you're not part of it and make you not exist. You know why? Because nations and people are so interchangeable that it doesn't matter if we genocide an entire peoples because we're all the same, right? Katie Fanning, Bubba Kate versus the state. You want your own laws. They're trying to get Sharia law in London, saying that they can't be I will let one of my colleagues continue. It was lovely to speak. Fantastic. And I am welcome to the conversation. What, what, was your, what was you trying to get across there? <sighs> well, I mean, when people think that we're being extreme or unacceptable, if we, what's happening to us was applied to any other peoples in the world, it would be seen as a crime against humanity. Absolutely. Yet when our identity is stolen, when our children are raped, when terrorist attacks are happening against us and we protest, they call us the far right. Could you imagine if a million black girls had been raped in relation, racially motivated offences by white men? That would be all over the news. We'd never hear the end of it. But a million white kids can be raped, and we're told, if you talk about it, you're far right. They are coming over to our country and claiming what is ours, and what is exclusively ours, and then 
blaming us 300 years ago. Oh, well, you came into our countries. We came into their countries when they were underdeveloped. We raised their life expectancy and their standard of living. They come here to parasite off what is already a developed nation and because of their hatred for us. It is hatred. And that's the difference. It is hatred. And yet they claim that us, you know, what, defending our own people, saying that we have a right to exist, we have a right to a homeland, we have a right to our own history, heritage, culture, suddenly we're the bad guys. But yet they advocate this all for themselves. So that's why I'm saying you can't say that we're being unreasonable when what you're advocating for your own people, you're saying we can't. So that's what I was trying to put across to that gentleman. Fantastic, fantastic. No, how, just how, how, okay, how, how do you think it went today? I think it went quite well, considering that the weather was predicted to be very Absolute, stormy and wet. Yeah, I wasn't expecting a very good turnout. But and, um, there was a lot of the local community that we've spoken to today that were very pleased that we're here and they do agree with everything that was said. And from here, there's going to be political meetings that are going to take place on a regular basis. Good, so good. I do think that it's going to be a very positive outcome from today. I don't think that demonstrations on their own actually achieve anything, but if you can collectivise people from this Absolutely. and get them politically motivated, I think that's a big start for our people. Has it, is it, is it got to be done on a local level as well? To... I think so. At the moment, I'd like to see a lot of independent local candidates standing, and then if a political party comes about that they can all align with, then they can all walk the floor to it, can't they? Can, can we get back, Can we get into their system, though? Can, yes, can, can, of we, course you, you can. We can. There is hope, yes? Yeah, OK. You saw what UKIP did. It didn't manage to actually get many elected MPs, but they brought about a referendum by stealing enough votes off the main political party. Yep. The Tories got so worried that they brought about a referendum, and then we won, despite the fact that the government poured millions into trying to campaign against it. And a similar thing will happen here. The government can pour money and resources into trying to stop us. They won't succeed. We're going to win, eventually. And it's people from these local communities that are going to bolster that. Without them, we won't be able to succeed. But they are aware of what's happening, and the fear is dissipating somewhat. It is, I believe we'll be able to send independent candidates in most of the places that we've had demos now. So. Excellent, excellent. It is fear that's stopping people coming out, isn't it? Less fearful now. Less fearful, no, brilliant. Excellent, brilliant. Well done, Kate. Thank you.